All right, Jack Kisseberth, where did you end up there today? Uh, I don't know, I think six or seven. I don't know you for spent sure. most of the race riding around with Jeremy Powers. How was, yeah. how was that? It was good. It was, yeah, I thought he was going to bridge the gap back to the front. Um, but it didn't work out. And it was still good practice following him. Yeah. Yeah, what, did you learn anything today? Yeah. Because I mean, you, you get the train with him. Yeah. But this is like not. It's not in a race situation. So, yeah, it was cool. What, what specific sort of stuff you learned today? What did you see I, him doing it was just there? pacing it, like the way he sort of where he's accelerating and where he's letting it ease up and coast through. It's definitely when I was by myself, I was just powering everywhere and working so hard and then following him at the same speed, but using less effort. All right, it seems like, like, so like last weekend, it seems like you're just like a couple percent off yeah. of front group speed, like the front of the front group. Yeah, this I was in the front group for first two laps, three laps today, and then slid out a little bit on the backside and it's like a five second gap and it was just could not close it. It's hard to close gaps on this course because it's, yeah, if you're by yourself in the wind, it's it's tough and drafting's important. Um, so by myself, I was doing so much work and just fucking cooked myself um, and then sort of sat up a little and then J-Pal caught me and I was like, oh, this is a good wheel to sit on. Hopefully it'll bring me back up to the front. And, didn't quite work out, but didn't lose any more places, so not a terrible race. Yeah. Good job to me. Thank you.